The strategy that I use for every type of non-narrative writing is called the VA, or what I call it, the VAK approach to writing visual, auditory, kinesthetic. So the children are actually using um, hand gestures to help as a as a mental reminder of what they need to include in their writing. First, discussion text. Introduction introduces for and against. One of the strategies I use is to set up uh, like a courtroom scene and do some drama beforehand about a discussion that they care passionately about. Obviously that would depend on your class but one of the ones I've done before is non-school uniform or school uniform. Lots of children have lots of things to say about that. First paragraph. For with evidence. Second paragraph. Against with evidence. I've also involved other members of the school community, so I've got people in for that courtroom drama, like a governor and a parent, and that way they get to see that a discussion means that other people have to say their point of view as well. When it comes to their writing, then, you can refer back to that and it makes it easier for them to actually structure the argument. Conclusion sums it up with the main point of view coming through. When I'm asking children to write non-fiction, one great way in is to use film or to clips online. Particularly with explanation texts, they, I found that children really do need to understand what it is that they're writing about, otherwise it's pointless. So I've used film and short clips on, online to, um, that explain how something's made, like a, how a pencil's made or how a rubber's made. Get them to invent a machine and this can be a magic machine, it can do anything that, that the children want it to do. And you talk them through how the machine works, what it creates, get them to do a big design on a piece of paper and label it. They've got all their ideas there and then you can teach how you write about that explanation afterwards once they've got something to talk about. So I like to give the children two purposes to the sets of instructions, to give them a um, more complex um, thought process. So they might be saying, write some instructions as to how to plant plants in the garden, but actually you've said to them, this is for the reception teacher, and they need to keep the reception children safe at the same time. So as well as writing about how to plant plants, we also want you to talk about how to be safe in the garden as well. And then they start to think about writing a bit more, and you can have a nice conclusion and some handy hints and tips as well. We've been doing keeping healthy, so we decided that we should make some healthy food. So they watched a cookery program Program. and then they had to write their instructions for making fruit skewers and then they got to make them at the end and the only way that they were going to turn out well was that their instructions were very clear. Finally! got events happening in school at the moment um, the children could turn into reporters and have clipboards and pens and nice badges and they go around school in a particular event it could be your summer fate it could be um, something at Christmas time go to who what where when why they take a few quotes down from people and they start to write down some detail about what's going on and then they bring that back to their classroom and they've got some information there about what has happened. With time connectives. They know when it's happened so all of the time connectives come out naturally. They know what's happened so they don't have to, have to worry about the content and then you can really help them structure their piece of work. Conclusion ends by commenting on the